This is the last week in PlayStation number 4. Hard to believe I've been doing this for a month already, but here we are. This is the weekly news show where I round up all of the PlayStation news that happened in the past week and put it into one easy to watch video so you don't have to go looking for it. This video is for the week beginning the 6th of July and we certainly have got some pretty interesting things to go over this week. Before we begin, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, it only takes a second and I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers by December 31st before moving into 2021. It really helps out the channel. With all that out of the way, let's get into this week's PlayStation news. Our first bit of news comes from the PlayStation blog and it's really cool. Horizon Forbidden West is no doubt going to be a great game and the build up for its 2021 release on PlayStation 5 is definitely very exciting. We've also got Horizon Zero Dawn launching on Steam next month with its Frozen Wilds expansion. In honour of all this Horizon hype, in the beginning of the PlayStation blog article it reads, this month we'd like to present something of a very different nature, Horizon Raw Materials a new merchandise brand aimed at extending the world of Horizon beyond video games. In this update we'll cover the first assortment of apparel, tabletop games, comic books and music released under the new brand so let's dig right in. And there is a lot of stuff to go over in this merch drop and it's all pretty cool stuff. You've got this Sherpa jacket, focus beanie and striped t-shirt as part of the Horizon Raw Materials clothing line. I mean I wouldn't personally wear any of this stuff but I'm sure someone out there is excited to buy this Horizon clothing. Along with the clothes in this merch drop there are a few other cool things. The first of which being Horizon Zero Dawn, the board game. The article reads, successfully funded on Kickstarter in less than two hours, the eagerly awaited Horizon Zero Dawn, the board game by Steamforged Games is now nearing completion. Yet again, not really my cup of tea but if you love Horizon Zero Dawn and play board games with your friends then this is definitely for you. Then there is also the Horizon comic book series which looks cool enough and then finally Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Forbidden West music releases which is £50 for a few CDs in a nice box. Seems a little steep to me. I definitely would never pay that much but it will make a collector happy somewhere. The next news article I've decided to throw in here is just a quick short one and it comes from PushSquare.com. It's just them basically confirming that you will have the option of playing 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays in your standard PlayStation 5. I didn't really realise there was confusion there, I just assumed everybody knew that in 2020 the latest system would support 4K Blu-rays because consoles always seem to be supporting the latest format of discs, but if you're watching this and you didn't know, well now you do. I think the confusion stems from the PS4 Pro just having a regular old Blu-ray drive, despite it being able to output full 4K 2160p when it comes to things like Netflix and YouTube. I still think it's a bit mad that Sony never put a 4K Blu-ray drive in the PS4 Pro, considering it's the more premium console in the PlayStation 4 family of systems. I just want a way to watch 4K Blu-rays in my home, because my internet often can't even stream 1080p video. I'm okay waiting until November though, especially after I bought an extra Xbox One S last year to be a cheap 4K Blu-ray player and it genuinely just struggled to play them which was really awful and disappointing. If you are looking for some amazing deals on games and DLC go straight to the PlayStation Store because they have some really fantastic sales on right now at least here in the UK. Huge blockbuster games like God of War for only £12, Resident Evil 7 is only £8 and it is a horror masterpiece. Far Cry 3 Classic Edition is only £2.50 a 90% discount on that game is brilliant. For that cheap everyone should be playing Far Cry 3 because it's been years since I've played it but I remember loving every second of what I did play back in the day. I also just picked up the Frozen Wilds DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn because I plan on replaying that game soon and I feel like it would be a good idea to try out the DLC considering I never did during my first playthrough. The last game I want to mention in the July savings sale is the Watch Dogs 2 Deluxe Edition. It's only £12 which is super great value for a game like Watch Dogs 2. There is so much content packed into it. Alongside the July savings sales you've got the multiplayer day sale which is nice because it's full of great games you should try out with your friends and they don't necessarily break the bank either. The Forest which is an interesting survival game is down to only £7 which is a steal for that game. That is however a discount for PS Plus members but if you're looking to play multiplayer games you probably have PS Plus anyway. A brilliant co-op game which I would recommend to everyone and anyone is A Way Out and it's 50% off the regular price for only £12.49. The cool thing about A Way Out is only one person has to pay for the game and anyone else can download it and play it through that person for free. 
there are definitely some great deals to be had on the PlayStation Store right now, so if any of that piqued your interest, go check out the store, you might find something to play that is cheaper than what you would normally pay for a new game. Something pretty cool and exciting was announced on Twitter during the week, that was actually what the PlayStation 5 box art will look like when you start seeing games pop up on store shelves this year. I'll throw some images up on the screen here so you can see. We got a look at Spider-Man Miles Morales' box art first, and honestly I was hoping for a black plastic or a black banner at the top, but the white does make sense for the banner reflecting on the design of the actual PlayStation 5 console itself. We also got to see Godfall's box, which I do think looks nicer. I mean at the end of the day, does it really matter what the front of the game case looks like? The design has already grown on me, and I like how the PS5 logo on the spine of the case is staying consistent with the PS4 logo. It will just make having them all on a shelf look really nice and uniform. I keep my games in alphabetical order because it makes them easier to find and what really bothers me is old PS3 games have different logos to new PS3 games on the spine and I'm weirdly picky about box art. Anyway, this is consistent. It's not too different from what we already know and I'm happy with it. This next one is really interesting and there are a load of places reporting on it. I got my information from tweaktown.com. There is essentially a Sony patent that is going around and it's to do with PS Now. Basically saying, using PS Now on your PlayStation 5, you can take a slice of your PS1, PS2 and PS3 gameplay, record it with the create button and share it around with your friends or whoever you want online. This patent doesn't just say sharing a video, it's saying that the person you can send this gameplay clip to can actually control the clip themselves, almost like a mini game play demo which yeah if they're streaming it from PlayStation Now or something that could make sense but I'm really not sure if we're going to see anything actually materialize from this patent. What really got my attention however wasn't the main point of the article it was playing PS1, PS2 and PS3 games on your PlayStation 5. As far as I'm aware at least here in the UK there are no PS1 games on PlayStation Now and another thing you can't use is the share button functionalities while streaming games on PS4 with PlayStation Now. So maybe this confirms being able to do that on the next generation PlayStation. I guess only time will tell with something like this, we won't actually know until the console launches later this year or if Sony happens to show off the PlayStation 5's UI at an event leading up to the console's launch. I would just like to remind everybody that Ghost of Tsushima comes out this Friday, the 17th of July. I've got my pre-order in. I got it from Amazon so hopefully I'll get the game early on Friday when the post comes so I can start playing it, giving me the chance to make a video and share my thoughts on it. I'll probably do a similar thing like I did with The Last of Us Part 2, do a spoiler free video talking about game mechanics and then if the story is good enough do a follow up video on what I think of it. I have high hopes for Ghost of Tsushima, I'm going in somewhat blind, I've watched a couple of trailers here and there and have heard people talk about it but that's really it. I think it's going to be great though because my favourite place PlayStation 4 exclusive this generation was Infamous Second Son. I just really really love that game, I've played through it like 5 times by now, got the platinum trophy and all that. Ghost of Tsushima is developed by the same studio, Sucker Punch, and that alone has me ready to play the game. Let me know down in the comment section below if you're going to be picking up Ghost of Tsushima right away or maybe if you're going to hold out for a little while, I'd love to know. Finally, I'm just going to quickly remind everybody that your free PS Plus games for the month of July are NBA 2K20, the latest installment in 2K's basketball video game series, Rise of the Tomb Raider, a really solid action-adventure Uncharted-esque game that you need to check out, and finally the bonus game Erica, a very unique live-action game where you make decisions that alter the story. It's cool and different and you may as well check it out considering it's a free game this month. We got an extra strong lineup of games this month for the service's 10th birthday so remember to add them to your library before you are out of time. Alright so that was the fourth week of the last week in PlayStation. As always I had a load of fun putting together some news articles regarding the world of PlayStation into an easy to watch video for you to enjoy every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed please consider hitting the like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more videos by me, I do a lot of PlayStation stuff, so please subscribe as we try to move towards 50 subscribers by the end of 2020. Let me know down in the comments what do you think about the Horizon Zero Dawn merchandise? Are you going to be picking any of that stuff up? And tell me if you're happy about the PlayStation 5 box art, do you really care? 
or would you prefer a different design? I still think black plastic for the box would have looked better. Finally, if you want to stay up to date with me and the channel, you can find me over on Twitter at AnthonyJGaming. I'm also on the PlayStation Network as AnthonyJGaming and finally you can find me over on Instagram as AnthonyJosephGaming. I mainly post there when I upload so give me a follow, it's a great way of knowing when I'm going to post another video, I'd really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching, bye.